Since all you ghost face are calling, I thought I'd better answer yet another Scream related video. Of course, we have Scream 6 coming out on March 10th, and I wanted to do some more Scream content on the channel. So in this particular video, I'm going to be ranking my top 25 favorite characters from the Scream franchise. I'm not including the TV show. However, I did watch the first two seasons of the TV show. Don't really remember a lot about it. I remember some things. I remember liking the character of Noah. I thought he was really cool. If I included the TV show, maybe he makes the list, but I'm not. So there's no point in talking about that. A few things you should know about this video. Obviously, this is my opinion. We're not all going to have the same opinion. There's some characters that I really like where some people are like, why do you like that character? Hey, it's my opinion. And of course, I reserve the right to change my opinion at any point in time. Some characters may move up the list. Some characters may move down the list, depending on what happens in the next Scream movie. And of course, this goes without saying, if you're not caught up to the point where I am and rewatching or watching all five Scream movies, then I highly suggest that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. For those of you that like Scream related content, with about 20 seconds left to go in this video, I'm going to put my ranking of the Scream franchise right here. Of course, that's a video I'm going to have to do over once I see Scream 6, and I'll put a few other videos in the end screen. So if you want to check those out, please do so. And remember, of course, to like, share, favorite, and subscribe. Due to the amount of characters that I have to talk about, I'm going to try to go as fast as possible. You've already all seen the movies. If there's a character that I know the fan base typically isn't a fan of, I'll try to give it a little bit more details about it, but I want to keep this video as short as possible because we all know I have a tendency to ramble. So with that in mind, my 25th favorite character from the Scream franchise is going to be Charlie from Scream 4. Yes, I know he's not really well liked as Ghostface. He was a pussy when it came to being Ghostface, but as Charlie, I liked Charlie. I liked the fact that he got Sidney Prescott in his uh, Cinephiles class and the fact that his Stabathon continued when it was supposed to be canceled. Nobody's going to ruin my Stabathon. That was awesome. The part with uh, Kirby asking him to make a move and then him as Ghostface saying, This is called making a move. That was pretty funny. I know a lot of people don't like him as Ghostface. And, well, we thought he had killed Kirby, which would have been a bad thing. But, I don't know. I like Charlie. I looked at all the characters, and I shockingly put him on the list. So, he's number 25. Number 24 is going to be Hallie. From Scream 2, that was Sid's roommate in Scream 2. I didn't think I would put Hallie on this list, but... I think Hallie was entertaining. It seemed like maybe some scenes of hers got cut from the movie. And initially, her and Derek were supposed to be the killers in Scream 2, which I want to see that movie because that would have made the movie very interesting. I might not have liked it as much, though. But I just liked Hallie. I thought she was funny. The stuff that she said, like, Can you, did you get that on film? Yes, I got that on film. Well, Joel the cameraman says that. But uh, she was just fun. And uh, the, the part where she's mocking Sydney, like, I'm fine. I liked it. She's funny, and that's why I put her at number 24. Number 23 is going to be Debbie Salt, a.k.a. Mrs. Loomis from Scream 2. Uh, she, of course, was a crazy, batshit crazy killer and an annoying reporter, and uh, I just enjoyed her. I mean, obviously, she has a big part in the overall story, even though we don't get a lot of time with her. And it was memorable. And Lori Metcalf does a great job. So that's why I put Debbie Slalt slash Mrs. Loomis as my 23rd favorite character. Coming in in 22nd place is going to be Mark Kincaid. From Scream 3. He was definitely a red herring. I thought Kincaid was the killer for most of the movie. And um, I'm surprised he wasn't. He was a good character, and it was an early Patrick Dempsey. And I'm hoping we see him again in the Scream franchise. Obviously, I want to see him get killed off. Because killing Mark will bring back Sydney. Possibly. I don't know. The whole Sydney thing, I don't know what to think about that. Or Neff Campbell thing. 
But uh, Kincaid was cool, and I like how confident he was talking to Sydney and be like, I'm going to catch the killer. And um, he was just entertaining, and that's why Mark Kincaid comes in in 22nd place. Number 21 is going to be Robbie. From Scream 4, obviously Robbie, Charlie's friend. He was just comic relief to me, live streaming everything. He was just funny and a fun character to root for. And then telling the killer, I'm gay. Funny stuff, and that's why Robbie is my 21st favorite character. Number 20 for me is going to be Derek. From Scream 2, played by the great Jerry O'Connell. I didn't like Derek at first, but he's kind of grown on me. S singing, I think I love you, but what am I so afraid of, was awesome. And he did a great job of doing that. And his determination to uh, be with Sydney and help her and protect her through all this. And then him giving Sydney his, his Greek letters. He's memorable. I know he died in the movie, but he still was like uh, likable. And that would have been interesting if he would have ended up being the killer. Two movies in a row where the boyfriend's the killer. Interesting stuff. But needless to say, Derek is going to be my number 20. Number 19 for me is going to be Richie. From Scream 5, a.k.a. Scream 2022. I know Richie is the killer. He was definitely predictable, but I think he was a good killer. He had funny moments in the movie. And, like, don't shoot, don't shoot. Like, Sydney's, like, shooting at the doors and he's in one of the rooms. And, eh. I don't know, I just really like Richie. He was he was fun. And, like, he had a, a interesting screen, screen presence. And I enjoyed his character. I kept thinking he was the killer. He was the most predictable killer. But they kept throwing curveballs where you're like, is he really the killer? Maybe he's not. But in the end, he turned out to be the killer. And I think he was he was pretty good. I know there's a lot of hate towards his character. But I liked him. I find him entertaining. And that's why Richie is my number 19. Number 18 for me is going to be Jill Roberts. I didn't really like Jill, the character, until I found out that she was Ghostface. She was a badass Ghostface with her being the crap out of herself. That was pretty brutal. And then the more of the stuff at the, uh, the hospital, gotta like Jill for that. And that's why she's my number 18. Number 17 for me is going to be Chad from Screen 5. Chad is a really good character. He's related to Randy. That's awesome. I think his character is kind of a douche at times, but I still really like him, and I think he's going to have a lot bigger role in Scream 6. He may move way up the list, or he could move down the list. I think his character may die. Uh, either him or Mindy will probably die, although I don't know that for sure, but I, I think there's a lot of potential for Chad. He might be the new leading man, not that he's the lead, but the, the top man in the franchise now with, with Dewey meeting his demise. So that's why Chad Meeks is my number 17. My number 16 is going to be Jennifer Jolie from Scream 3, played by the great Parker Posey. Her character is very over the top, but it's freaking hilarious with her following around Gail Weathers. And uh, are you going to help Gail Weathers or not? And then her jumping into Stephen Stone's arms once she thinks she's going to die next. And just, uh, she's hilarious. I was kind of hoping her character would actually live. But of course, that's not what happened. But needless to say, Jennifer Jolie is going to be my number 16. My number 15 is going to be Tara Carpenter. From Screen 5, played by the great Jenna Ortega. I think there's a lot of promise for this character. I hope that Tara actually takes the reins as the main character because we kind of have Sam and Tara. They're both kind of co-leads for the new cast. And I think one of them will definitely die in Scream 6. And it might be Sam. It could be Tara, but they need to capitalize on Jenna Ortega's popularity with her 
her role in X and her role in Wednesday and all the other stuff that she's done. I think she's great, although she looks a little young, but aside from that, she was great, especially, well, in Scream 5, and that's why Tara is my number 15. Number 14 for me is going to be Roman Bridger from Scream 3. Roman was a really good character. I felt like maybe he didn't get enough to do in the movie. I think, I don't know, there's some issues with Scream 3, obviously, but I did like Roman's character, played by Scott Foley. He was funny, and it just worked. And the whole brother angle with him being the long-lost brother of Sidney Prescott that she didn't know she had, that was great. And her, or I should say, his confrontation with Sidney at the end of Scream 3 was awesome. And I, I just liked Roman. Um, I wouldn't mind if somehow they threw us more information about Roman, maybe somebody related to him or somebody that knew him or something like that. That would be a little bit interesting. But that's why Roman Bridger is my number 14. My lucky 13 is going to be Joel. From Scream 2, Gail Weathers, cameraman... And I've already kind of alluded to the fact that I really like Joel for the part where he said, yes, I got that on film. And the, uh, I need something a little bit more said by the bellish and yo, who broke into my van? He just was full of great moments in Scream 2. And I wish we would get more from Joel. So whatever Dwayne Martin is doing right now, he needs to come back to the Scream franchise because we need some closure. Now there's rumors that he's the dad of Mindy and Chad. I don't know if that necessarily works, but hey, if that's the case, awesome. Love it. Bring Joel back. We need Joel in another Scream movie, hopefully to live, because we know brothers don't last long in these things. But I liked Joel. He's definitely one of my favorites, and that's why he comes in at number 13. Number 12 for me is going to be Cotton Weary. Played by the awesome Liv Shriver. Cotton was a great character, especially in Scream 2, but he's kind of the villain in Scream 2, too. Uh, there's moments where, like, he does things where, like, we don't know what his next move is going to be, but then they killed him off in Scream 3. Why kill off Cotton? He should still be alive. In fact, Cotton should have turned into the killer eventually at some point, but I like Cotton Weary. I thought he was an excellent character, well acted, a little ecleptic for me, but hey, it worked, and that's why Cotton Weary is my number 12. Number 11, you're going to start throwing things at me now. This character is really low on my list, and some of you will probably have it in the top three. Number 11 for me is going to be Gail Weathers. From all the Scream movies. I like Gail at times. I liked her in Scream 2, a little bit in Scream 3, but I don't like her in Scream, the 1996 one. Scream 4, she's annoying. Scream 5, she's okay. There's just times where Gail annoys me as a character. But then again, there's times where I really like Gail. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen to Gail in Scream 6. Are they going to do two big deaths in a row? That might be what happens. But if Gail has an amazing Scream 6, that may elevate her, excuse me, in my ranking. But as, as it stands right now, Gail Weathers falls jits outside my top 10. At number 11. All right, now you're really going to be pissed. My number 10 is going to be Deputy Dewey. I know, I know Dewey should be in the top two. Dewey annoys me. Dewey should not have lived past Scream 1. It's crazy that Dewey survived Scream 1, then miraculously survived Scream 2. He was good in Scream 3, although a doofus. Okay in Scream 4, he was really good in Scream 5, but to me, it was a little too late. I'm glad that Dewey's gone, although I don't, I don't think he is gone for good. I think we're going to see David Arquette in Scream 6 as like a hallucination or dream sequence, but Dewey was an awesome character at times, but annoying. I don't think he should have survived past the first Scream. I would rather have Randy be the lead male for the series rather than Dewey. Just my opinion, I know. I know everybody has a different list, and that's why Dewey is my number 10. Number 9 for me is going to be Casey Becker. 
Now, I know she doesn't last long, but man, she is a memorable character played by Drew Barrymore. That whole extended scene with her talking to the killer, you know, Roger L. Jackson, that was just amazing. And for that, I had to include her on my list. Maybe I shouldn't have, but hey, I enjoyed the character, and that's why I put her as my number nine. My number eight is going to be Mindy Meeks, played by Jasmine Savoy Brown. I like that actress, and I like the character of Mindy. She's got kind of a mysterious side, in addition to her, like, who's the killer side. And I, I kind of dig, you know, dig it. And uh, I'm interested to see what happens to Mindy in Scream 6, if she makes it out of Scream 6 alive. I mean, it's a cardinal sin, in my opinion, to kill a Meeks, because we've already lost one Meeks, and we don't need to lose another one, but... Who knows what will happen. I want to know who the dad is for uh, Mindy and Chad. If it is happened to be, or if it does happen to be, Joel the cameraman. Him and uh, Martha Meeks hooked up. Martha Meeks annoys me. Okay, off the subject, but the part in Scream 3 where she just comes out of her tra trailer and says, Guys, you got to check this out. Like, she knew Dewey, Sydney, and, uh, uh, you know, then we're all there. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Anyway, uh, Mindy Meeks is going to be my number eight. Number seven is going to be Billy Loomis. And initially, I did not like Billy Loomis's character, but the more I think about it, and the more I actually appreciate the original Scream movie, because there's been times where I haven't liked Scream as much as the other films, but I've grown to appreciate that movie a lot more in the last year, and Billy is an extraordinary character in the movie. Although I think him being the killer is very predictable, Whenever somebody has a cell phone that's cloned, I automatically think that they're at least a very strong suspect. And it turned out that he was the killer. But uh, Billy was great, played by Skeet Ulrich. And, uh, I mean, he was just a classic killer in a movie. And he had some great lines with him and Stu. Him and Stu at the end with Sydney. That was phenomenal. And now him being in the new Scream movies as Sam's father... That just adds another element to his character. So that's why I put Billy Loomis as my number seven. It's time for my number six. And you're going to say I ranked my number six too high. But I just can't help myself. My number six is going to be Mickey from Scream 2. The freaky Tarantino film student. I liked almost everything I saw for Mickey as a character. The only thing that I question was his whole blame the movies thing with his ghost face reveal. But his fight with Sydney was good at the end. He was just great. I think I liked him more as Mickey and not Ghostface though, because he wasn't supposed to be Ghostface. It was supposed to be Derek and Hallie. So you don't really have a lot of scenes that point to him as Ghostface, but he's got the camera, he's filming the events, so maybe, I don't know. Who knows what really was supposed to happen in Scream 2. We really can't get straight answers, but he was great with him. Cheering on Derek when he's singing, I think I love you, what am I so afraid of? That was awesome. Him being the cinema nerd that Randy is. And the only thing missing from Mickey is he's not obsessed with Sidney Prescott. At least we don't think he is, but he wants to kill her at the end. But he was awesome. I, I wish he would have not been the killer and came back for more movies. Because I, I obviously love Mickey, but I also really like Timothy Oliphant. As an actor, I like him in Gone in 60 Seconds. I like him in Live Free or Die Hard. I like him in The Crazies. All go good movies. You should check those out. I just started watching Justified. I didn't make it through the first episode. I was tired. But uh, could be a very awesome show. We will see. But had to put Mickey on here. I know most of you will have him on your list. But he'll probably be closer to the bottom. Where on my list, he's close to the top. So that's why Mickey, the freaky Tarantino film student, is my number six. My number five is going to be Tatum from Scream 1. Tatum was great, played by Rose McGowan. She had a lot of cool lines in Scream 1. The part she, where she's like, bam, bitch went down, Sid, super bitch. That was great. The The scene with her in the garage throwing the, what was it, the beer bottles at the killer. Oh, Mr. Ghostface, do you want me to be your helpless victim? That was awesome. There's a lot of great lines from Tatum. Her conversations over the phone with Sydney, where she's like egging her on and out. It's it's all great. 
Rose McGowan played that character very well. And it's it's a shame that we didn't get more Tatum because she had a lot more potential, but they killed her off and made her hang from a garage door, which probably wouldn't happen even though she's a tiny girl. So that's why Tatum comes in at number five. All right, it's time to cancel me. My number four is going to be Sydney Prescott. She's my number four. I like her as a character, but there's just three other characters I like slightly more than her. Now, if Sydney Prescott isn't in Scream 6, which is what we're being told, I may grow to appreciate her character more, and she may move up my list. But I have a sneaking suspicion that Nev Campbell did film something for Scream 6. It's not going to be a lot. It's a cameo at best. And it's probably going to be once the credits start to roll or before then. Don't know for sure. I don't have any inside information. But I had heard something that she was on set or filmed something at the end of July. Again, not nothing confirmed. I just I heard something, but I don't remember the source or anything like that. But we don't know for sure. It's kind of 50-50. Who knows? But I have a suspicion that she is indeed in the movie. Uh, but if she's not... I hope we get Sydney Prescott for Scream 7, but if she's not in Scream 7, she had a great ending in Scream 5. That was great, with her and Gail kind of walking away in the sunset, or at least we thought. Gail obviously is going to be back, but Sydney was great. She's awesome in all the movies that she's in. I mean, she's she's one of the best final girls of all time. Why she's not higher on my ranking? Um, I think she's lasted too many films, personally. And uh, I I strongly think that other people have better for performances than her. She's great. Don't get me wrong. But I think there's other people that just have a slightly better performance in movies than Nev Campbell does. But I love Nev Campbell. Don't get me wrong. I keep saying that now. I've met her three times. She's awesome. She just unfortunately is only my number four. Coming in in third place for me is going to be Randy Meeks. Randy is awesome as a character. There's really nothing bad to say about Randy. He should have survived Scream 2. And Dewey should have died in Scream 2. And then he could have become more and more and more obsessed with Sidney Prescott. And eventually got so obsessed because Sidney would choose him that he becomes Ghostface. That would have been an interesting thing to do in a Scream movie, but it didn't happen. They killed Randy off, or did they? <laughs> Some people think Randy's going to come back and be alive. We saw his face. He was caught up pretty bad. He wasn't moving at all. I guess they could do some movie magic and say, well, we revived him. And no, that's not going to happen. Randy's dead. We might see hallucinations or flashbacks of him, but that's about it. But he was an awesome character. His dialogue was great. Randy in Scream 2 was fucking unbelievable with his his whole conversation with Dewey talking about, let's talk about the suspects. And then his conversation with the killer. What's your favorite scary movie? Showgirls. Awesome stuff. You want to be one of the big boys? Manson? Bundy? OJ? He's great. I really wish he would have survived past Scream 2, but he didn't. But he definitely is one of my top characters from the franchise. And I'm not ruling out making him my favorite character at some point. Depending on how these other characters do or how my opinion of Randy uh, lives on. My recency bias towards other characters. Who knows? But Randy, definitely my number three. And possibly he could move up. There's still time. I have two characters remaining. Do you already know who they are? Coming in in second place, I'm going with Kirby. From Scream 4 and Scream 6, Kirby's just amazing. She's awesome. She, at times, is the female version of Randy, along with Mindy. She was amazing in Scream 4. In my opinion, she carried the show in Scream 4, especially with naming all those remakes and all that. That was incredible. I couldn't even do that. And, I mean, we thought we had lost Kirby. We thought, you know, Charlie had made the move and we thought we lost Kirby. But she's coming back for Scream 6 and who knows? 
depending on what happens at Scream 6, Kirby might move up. She might move down. We, you never know. But, I mean, I can't say anything really negative about her other than the fact that they, had, you know, we thought she had got killed off. But she was still moving there at the end. I've always said that. Like, we didn't see her physically just die and not move. So, I love Kirby. I'm really happy that Hayden Panettiere came back to the franchise. She came back to acting just for this. So, hopefully, it's a great role for her and she's featured a lot. I don't know how much we're going to get of Kirby. So, who knows? But, Kirby... Definitely my number two. So, that leaves one character remaining. My number one, my favorite character in the Scream fan franchise at the moment is going to be Stu Mocker. From Scream 1. And potentially other Scream movies down the road. The TV falls on his head. Yes, he might be hurt. But I don't think Stu's dead. But man, what a job Matthew Lillard did as Stu. He's just freaking hilarious in Scream. The whole scene with him and Billy with Sydney, And wh wh why'd you do this, Stu? What made you do it? Peer pressure. And my mom and dad are going to be so mad at me. And dude, I'm caught. I'm bleeding, man. And he just he threw the phone at me, man. And he's just freaking hilarious in Scream. He carries the movie at times. His acting is just so well done. And on a personal note, Matthew Lillard is one of the most awesome human beings in the world. If you have a chance to meet Matthew Lillard, be advised you're probably going to wait in line a long time. But he will talk to you, and he will talk to you and keep talking to you. He doesn't rush people to get to the next person. He will keep talking to you and do as much as you want. He's just an awesome guy, and his role as Stu Mocker in Scream was just amazing. And I have theories that he's in one of the future Scream movies. I just don't think Stu's dead. They never mention that he's dead. They always talk about Billy being dead, but they never mention that Stu is dead. We saw a TV get dropped on his head, but, you know, he could have survived that. He might have been hurt, maybe a little bit of brain damage, but maybe he recovered. I don't know. But that's why Stu Mocker at the moment, is my favorite character in the Scream franchise. So, you've heard my ranking. Obviously, I want to hear about your favorite characters in the Scream franchise. Now, you don't necessarily have to be tw do 25, but if you could leave your top 10 or more in the comments section, just so I know what you like in the Scream movies, that would be awesome. Smash the like button, share this video, and remember, I'm going to put my ranking of the Scream movies right here. Check that out. Obviously, I'll redo that once Scream 6 comes out. Don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.